Here's the new 10th generation Honda Accord, which has just recently gone on sale. And for the next few years, the machine you're looking at here will carry Honda's presence once again into the affordable family sedan marketplace and give competitors a run for their money. Mainly, that's because there's just something that Honda gets right about this machine every time they redo it. And this time around, it seems like that's focused largely on making some of the best but most user-friendly use of some of the latest technologies available in this segment. So let's take a closer look with a couple of examples. This new Accord is brimming with next level technology. It's got all of the good stuff, and that means that if you haven't been in a brand new car for a few years, you might find it all a little overwhelming, but actually, probably not. First, you get tool tips. The first half of this instrument cluster is actually a screen. Manipulate any one of the multitude of Accord's high-tech functions, and what you're doing, and what you can do, shows up in here. Even if you accidentally hit a button you're not sure of, you'll likely see what you've done on the screen. Of course, you should read the owner's manual, but this extra bit of help really slashes the learning curve required to get comfy with how all of the fancies work. Really useful, too, if you'll share this car with someone who won't drive it very often. And beyond that, a few high-tech features are notable, particularly for how well they're executed here. For instance, this head-up display, which projects vital data down here on the windshield. You can change the brightness, position, or display it information, but also, I'll note that this display is more vivid and detailed and clear than a similar unit I recently used in a 200 grand BMW. And I love that you don't get any background light from the projection screen bleeding in around the display either. It just makes it look really crisp. And the backup camera is also really well done. I wish the resolution was a touch higher, but the angle is bang right on. This fisheye camera means you can see all the way down either side of a road you're backing into, even if you're in the middle of a corner like my driveway. And it can alert you if there's a car approaching that you might not see yet either. One more example of the effective use of the latest tech, these LED headlights are fantastic. I usually expect this combination of vivid white color, wide-reaching spread, peripheral illumination, and fully saturating light output on a much pricier luxury model. If you don't like driving at night, these headlights might actually change your mind, and they're standard too, regardless of the trim grade. So even the base model Accord LX at under 27 grand gives you access to world-class lighting. And finally, the powertrain, which is probably this machine's most valuable asset. A small turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder and CVT transmission with no gears are teamed up. And what you get is plenty of low-end torque and responsiveness, all with very low revs, minimal noise or vibration, and great mileage, too. Drive gently, and you hardly even know the powertrain is there at all. So, in all, a pretty stellar package and a high-tech but user-friendly family sedan with many strengths and few weaknesses. Thanks for watching.